In this video, I will show you how to create and book a reservation using eWebRenter. Let's assume a customer is looking for a Class A motorhome. Our customer will be traveling from Rhode Island to Georgia and back, and would like to leave on October 28th and return on November 4th. From the main menu, I'll select Check Availability, enter the dates my customer would like to go, and return. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the estimated mileage because that's going to give us a better price for our customer. Now I can see here we have three Class A's available. Over here on the right shows us our estimated price. We can see the mileage of these vehicles. And we can also see that two of these vehicles have king size beds and one has a queen. Let's say, for the sake of this demo, our customer has selected a king-size bed. So we're going to go ahead and put them in the Fleetwood. I'll click on Select to the left, and this brings up our customer selection. If this were a repeat customer, I could filter this list by a few different ways here. Enter the first two letters of the customer's last name here, hit Enter on the keyboard, and then all names that begin with MC would appear on the list. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a new customer. I'll select Add New Customer here. Now for video purposes, I've gone ahead and entered this information. I'll save this information. And I'll receive a message asking to confirm for these dates. I'll select Yes. And now this opens what we refer to as the rental form. Here at the top, we see the customer's information as well as the dates. If my customer wanted to switch to a different vehicle, I could simply click here, select a new vehicle from the list below. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as is. I can send my customer an email here. The email log allows me to quickly view all emails sent to my customer, as well as any emails my customer sends back. Vehicle details are here. This tab shows the rates based upon mileage and also shows how many free miles per day, if applicable. Now these rates are set up as defaults and I will show how to do this in another video. The Vehicle Rates tab shows a breakdown of cost and the estimated daily average rate. If this vehicle were a part of the owner rental program, the owner's information would appear here. Cancellation information would show here under the Cancel tab. And if there were any other additional adult drivers that will be driving during the trip, that driver's information would be entered here. Below we see the destination information. We can see the estimated mileage we entered on that first form. Now we know that this particular customer will be traveling with three adults, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in there now. The Equipment tab allows me to upsell added on items, such as camp chairs, portable grills, things of that sort. Insurance information is entered here. Any applied payments or credits would appear here. Using the Special tab overwrites all totals and gives the flexibility to give discounts for certain circumstances. The Out and In tabs are for mileage tracking. The extras that are taxable and non-taxable will be entered here, such as damage to the vehicle or if the customer brought the vehicle back and didn't fill that gas tank, the expense tab would be for reimbursements to the customer upon returning. And any refunds made to the customer would show under the refunds tab. Now over here on the right, you see all the details of the rental. Once all information has been entered, I can preview and print the rental quotation here. I could hand this to my customer or if I were on the phone, I could simply email this to my customer by jumping over here. 
we'll select it's a quotation. We have a standardized subject, so we don't have to write one up for every customer. We'll select an agent. Let's say Walter's sending this reservation. I'll select generate email, and you can see it automatically checks the quotation for us. We'll see the email address that it's being sent to here, and we'll hit send email. I'll receive a message that tells me it was sent successfully. I'll say OK. And that's it. We just quoted a customer and sent an email. In our next video, I will show you how to book a reservation and take a deposit.